hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word give it light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord, it is my strength. Joy. God is bringing renewal, refreshing. Bringing your dream alive again. Bringing your hope alive again. Letting you know that the God of heaven will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Take your eyes away from the lack of children, lack of this, lack. just take your eyes away. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen, I want you in the next two or three minutes, just talk to the Lord and say my joy is restored i worship you i refuse to give up my joy i gave up my money i will not give up my joy i gave up my peace i will not give up my joy go ahead talk to god shout 2019 you came to receive a baptism of joy afresh when there is no joy there is no progress when there is no fullness of joy life will squeeze you into a mold and defeat you cheaply At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. I don't see the challenges, I refuse to see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. Come on, sing it me now. Yeah. It's you that I see. You are here. Working miracles, I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Let me give you a reason to maintain your joy. Listen. Make a miracle walk, promise king, 
light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hold on, guys. Rejoice knowing this. There is an information that you know. Waymaker. Miracle walker. Light in the darkness is not what you do, that is who you are. So I rejoice. What does it take, oh God, for you to give me a job? What does it take for you to give me a child? All it takes is your will. Your will, your willingness is the raw material. What does it take for you to bring me out of that situation? What does it take for you to exalt me? We make miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Listen, here's how Apostle Paul said it. He said, rejoice in the Lord always. It's not an advice, it's an instruction rejoice in the lord always and in case you forget let me repeat again i say that means for your own good is a prescription to keep you in victory rejoice in the lord but i found out that there is also a realm called complete joy you can have joy but not have the fullness of joy let me show you how to have the fullness of joy jesus himself taught us john 16 24. never forget this scripture for the rest of your life we're going to read it together and then now we pray please read with me mina ready one to read he that told have ye asked nothing in my name ask and ye shall receive why that your joy may be full look up it is true that joy brings harvest but harvest too brings joy hello it is true that joy brings results but results too bring joy so i use my joy to get the results that will multiply my joy to get more results that will multiply my joy until my joy is full and jesus said somewhere in your joy equation there must be receiving that there are times if you don't receive something your joy cannot be complete it is true that whether the house rent is there or not you should have joy but what if you rejoice with the house rent in your hand it is true that whether you have a house or not you should rejoice but what if you rejoice with the keys now in your hands it is true that you should rejoice whether the child comes or not but what if you stand and hold triplets let me tell you results can produce joy results can produce joy ask Sarah results can produce joy ask the people who are about to be disgraced in a wedding feast when wine finished results can produce joy ask 5,000 hungry men minus women and children results can produce joy weep not thou that didst not bear burst forth into singing because many are the children of her that is without child let me tell you this he says ask and that's what we are going to do now that you may receive so that your joy mina will be full i loved god whether i was anointed or not and i truly had joy but my joy is full now that he has anointed me because i am happy are we together now i love god whether i had five naira in my pocket or not but now at least i can bring out ten naira to eat with i am happy results can multiply joy 
results can prime your joy to the full many of you your joy is on reserve is there but it's on reserve some half tank or we are to sunk be tired of the knee level the ankle level you must insist that within this few minutes we have lord i must leave shout 2019 with the fullness of joy the fullness of joy when that devilish sickness leaves your body it perfects your joy when god speaks to your life and destiny and opens the gates for you it perfects your joy hallelujah praise the lord the woman at the well when she met jesus she ran with joy and called other people and said come see a man that has shown me has told me what i have done your joy must be perfected you are going to pray what one thing do you trust god to do tonight for you to walk away with the fullness of joy the bible says he that told he that told you have not asked but now he said ask so that you can receive for everyone that asketh receive it so ask so that you will receive so that your joy may be full lift your voice mina inside and outside please ask lift your voice and pray i'm about to pray for you ask is any man afflicted let him pray if you have been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father please ask ask for yourself some of you are asking for your ministry some of you are asking for your family outside make sure you are praying you are asking asking faith Father, I rejoice, but place fresh fire upon my life for the sake of my ministry. Ask, Lord, turn my financial captivity around. Ask, turn my spiritual life around. Please ask, pray. some of you are asking that god will bring your family out from the bed of affliction like peter said pastor peter was sharing he said some of you need god to solve foundational issues take the pain away oh god Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody, in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Come on, Mina. Yeah. You've 
taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my heaven. He will take your pain away and then he'll give you joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, Yeah, 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 yeah. Your lifting has come. Oh, 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 oh. Your rising has come. I'm prophesying. Oh, 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 oh. Your help has come. Oh, oh, oh. Very simple song says, I, 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 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that pray. Hear me? Then our mouths were filled with laughter, laughter, and said they among the hidden. The Lord had done great things for them. It says the Lord had done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity. Like the streams of the Negev. It says that they that sow in tears. They shall reap in joy. I have about five minutes or so. And I want to pray for you. To lend my support in this program. And I want you to release your faith within these five minutes because your life must change. Things will be redirected and reordered within these minutes. You are under a very strong influence this morning that can turn things around. The worshippers have come to set the atmosphere. I've spoken to you about joy. You are receiving first the oil of gladness. It's a real grace. You will find out that no challenge in your life will sustain the power to bring you to a point where you say god is unfaithful you will stand before what made you cry before shout and still laugh and say the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of shall not fear what man does to me i'm not an orphan there is a god in heaven jehoshua the one who saves But I also know that tonight there will be restoration. I also know that tonight there will be healings. I also know and believe that tonight there will be accelerations. And the Lord will do this and bring honor and glory to his name. The Lord will do this and honor this program. Now let me pray for you. It's very funny what is about to happen now. Let me explain it before I pray. I have sensed in every meeting that I go to now, among the many prayers that I pray for the people, 
God continues to impress me to release the grace for speed. Let me tell you the truth, people of God, the king's business requires haste. We do not have all the time. Are we together now? Paul admonishes us to redeem time. That means if time is against you, there must be an advantage that comes upon your life. That's the first prayer. I want to pray this prayer for speed. And you will be amazed at the way many of you will make strange acceleration after this prayer. Spiritually, and then it follows every other area. Now, when I pray this prayer, listen very carefully. I don't intend to take our time. It's already morning. The hand of the Lord will come upon many people and you will find them physically running for some of them. I say this so that you please can help them. Praise the Lord that as you bring them, you are helping them so they don't injure themselves inside and outside. It must happen. It's the way God does it. I, I don't know why he does it. He just causes people to act out what is happening to them in the realm of the spirit. And some of you, this day will not break without you seeing the physical manifestation you will finish the program and before you are going home you are seeing text messages and all kinds of things coming every man ministers according to the measure of grace given to him it's a sin to propose things you do not have the grace to defend hallelujah can I pray for you I stand in agreement with your dear pastor and the men of God in this place and I want to pray for you now father thank you because you honor your word and your name I want to pray for you right now my God I'm already just seeing a cloud I'm even barely lifting my hands and I'm just seeing fire fall on people I'm going to count three and the moment that happens this grace for speed it will be very fast we may not be able to take testimonies from the prayer for the sick because we have to honor the remaining part of the meeting but then at the same time as i release this grace for speed i pray by the god of heaven that let it produce in people's lives father thank you for the anointing that you have granted your people need to be shifted to very strange levels and i declare right now at the count of three may that grace find a destiny and a family that must accelerate get ready now one my God two three take that grace now take that grace now please help them I stretch my hands by the spirit I decree and declare can you bring them out if it's possible I release that grace speed now I shift you by the spirit enter strange dimensions of spiritual possibilities the speed of god upon you please help them speed by the spirit of god speed in ministry speed in life i declare it upon you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ number two i'm praying please bring them out if you can i just want to pray very quickly i'm seeing the lord restoring and i'm seeing quite a number of people up to 31 people god is saying i'm restoring the years and restoring things you lost i don't know where you are but i stretch my hands right now may that anointing rest upon you now i command restoration there at shout 2019 i speak and i release that grace receive restoration now receive restoration now bring them out receive restoration now by the spirit of god restoration now and i will restore the years that the tanker worm the palmer worm has eaten i speak by the spirit me now hear me i don't care what you have lost i stand by the god of heaven and I declare restoration to you now. Restoration now. Hallelujah. Please bring them out. Pastor, sir. Not this man, the other man. Yes, you. This one. Come. No, sir. This man. This very one. No, not you, sir. This man. 
lift your hands the lord is restoring your fire and your grace step into a new dimension of fire and grace the lord is restoring that fire and that grace i want to pray now i'm seeing a grace for the prophetic in a strange way the eyes that see this will come on many people i'm praying right now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus i'm seeing ancient prophetic wells being stirred up again here at shout pastor Pedro prophesied and said that this is the center and out of this place will come a shofar to the nations at the count of three on men and women you must drink of that wine one two three shout jesus take that place now let there be that staring from your spirit man in the mighty name of jesus i release that place the front to the back outside enter that realm you have seen it in your visions you have seen it in your dreams shout 2019 i release that grace upon you the eyes that see and the ears that hear the lord is showing me oil coming on people's hands and the lord is saying it's a grace for results it's a grace for performance i pray for you i don't know who in the crowd inside and outside is under the sound of my voice but i'm speaking right now the mantle that must rest on you for strange results receive that grace in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy ghost it comes on you like fire strange results in your life you Hello, you you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello, him, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello, him, you reign. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na 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 na. I decree and declare that every force that is not on of God sitting on anyone's destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be liberated now be liberated now in the mighty name of Jesus please hear me I'm speaking to everyone here whether politicians business people in ministry everything you should have achieved this year until now your hands is yet to do it I stretch my hands obtain the grace the finishers anointing you must finish it before this year is done in the name of Jesus Christ I pray concerning everything that is dead or dying in your life hear the word of the Lord under this atmosphere of praise I command it to come back to life now in the name of Jesus Christ now if you are sick just lay your hands in your body make contact with your body let me pray now quickly I declare be healed in the name of Jesus I take authority over every sickness every infirmity I cause it now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare be free from it now and any orchestration that is not of the Christ any influence those that are here in front and all who are watching and following I decree and declare any influence in your life that is not of the Christ I command it to leave you right now I command that it must release your destiny now 
now listen i want to release the oil of gladness it's a real grace it's a real anointing now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph i pray for you here at shout 2019 let the grace that keeps joy in your life regardless of situations may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now receive joy joy unspeakable joy unspeakable joy in the midst of storms in the name of jesus christ let me pray for everyone who is part of the house of the rock family i decree upon you this oil of joy oil of gladness may it never depart from you it will produce marvelous results in your life in the name of jesus christ hear me let me speak to you whatever it is that morning took from your life may joy restore it now every family here trusting god for an open door i stand by the god of heaven between now and the next 21 days i'm prophesying to you by the god of heaven who anoints men may that door be opened unto you in the mighty name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit i connect you to the helpers of your destiny and in the name of jesus may they show up to hold your hands and lift you i pray for everyone who is in ministry hear the word of the lord i speak to you enter a new season of results extraordinary results in the name of jesus christ everything you have lost i command it to look for you and return to you in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ finally i speak over your life the one thing you ask the lord to do for you to complete your joy in this meeting i release my faith and i agree with you may it be yours right now may it be yours right now in the mighty name of jesus christ I pray finally for the body of Christ in Mina. Using this platform, in the name of Jesus, may the purposes of God as committed to this house and as committed to this city never be aborted. I declare that God will continually find a remnant from this city that will project the light and the power, the grace and the wisdom of God. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, that the church of the lord jesus christ in this city will stamp the gates of hell and stamp the gates of darkness in the mighty name of jesus i bless you by the spirit i bless you by the hand of god i bless you with all spiritual blessings may joy and laughter never depart from your mind never depart from your mouth never depart from your destiny and every result that has been received in the realm of the spirit i command it to manifest in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ pastor petro thank you so much mina thank you so much i love every one of you in jesus name john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal look at this and to kill and to destroy this is satan's assignment when it comes to your life, he will steal, he will kill, and he will destroy. The same way God schedules men to give you opportunities. Satan is a robber. Ladies and gentlemen, let me list for you a few things that he steals. He steals years. He steals destinies. He steals relationships. He steals resources. He steals your convictions. He steals your discernment. Like I taught you two weeks ago, he steals your ability to see there are thieves that when they come to your house is your money direct money 
they don't have the time to carry rice to carry beans to carry yam that's not part of what they are looking for they need something they can take immediately not satan when satan steps into a life he does not even spare anything your joy he will take your peace he will take your relationships he will take how do you know satan has visited a man please listen to me because there will always be perpetual depletion decline pain losses tragedies satan for you you see a man of god who was vibrant on fire loving jesus commanding signs and wonders and with all due respect years later no vibrancy no fire is all gone where is your influence he stole it your reputation he stole it your integrity is gone the name god gave you is gone listen if you let satan he would destroy you my assignment tonight is not just to announce this there are some prayers who are going to pray in this place that everything satan has stolen in the name that is above all names i'm praying for you it must be restored this night not next week it must be restored this night there are people some of them listening to me now once upon a time you could build a house for people without thinking twice today you can plead for twenty thousand naira your brain did not disappear satan visited you once great once blessed once anointed once upon a time with all due respect around the world there are many vibrant people who used to serve the lord with energy if you hear that they are coming to town or you hear that they are coming to a nation i mean you just have to pray that you are even able to reach there but today they call on a nation and nobody answers can i tell you the worst thing that can happen to a man is to once be in a position where god places you and then in your lifetime and also in the presence of those you raised you go down i forbid it over your life <laughs> hallelujah some of your parents some of our parents in their lifetime they were blessed they loved jesus they had influence some of you saw people line up in your houses just to see your parents but in old age they are alone everybody you had to change your surname because if you still use that name it may program failure for you come on now satan for you and don't let satan lie to you taking advantage of age you are not the first person to be old refuse that thing that the older you are getting the more you should deteriorate i don't know about you but i choose to reject it no as my days are so shall my strength be this is what my bible teaches me if you don't believe this you will get into trouble one day you will wake up a young man 30 40 years you stand up as if you are 80 years reject that spirit It's like a part of me does not want to get up. No, everything God gave me must obey me. Everything. If it's part of my body must obey me. I wake up in the morning, my head you must wake up. My heart you wake up too. My respiratory system you must wake up. Speak to your body in one minute. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I challenge every health condition. You bow to the name of Jesus. My eyes will see till my days are done. My feet will walk till my days are done. My hands will reach till my days are done. Go ahead, take a minute and speak. No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer. I cause fibroid. I cause prostate cancer. I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Oh. Oh.
the prophetic controls restoration the prophetic controls redemption the prophetic controls deliverance when it is administered within the boundary of scripture it works wonders there are some of you you have cried unto the lord in secret but this deliverance will not come through your own prayers no but i know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer in partnership with the supply of the spirit of jesus christ in one minute right where you are i'd like you to begin to pray thou son of david have mercy upon me thou son of david have mercy upon me is a businessman praying is a man of god who has lost his glory lost the grace and the favor Parash kateba lakasiata, egra katapa 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 rakatos, katapa katapa lakatapa katapa lakatapa kata. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Let the doors open again, O oh God. Let the favor come again. Let my honor return again. Let my hair grow back again. Let shame and reproach leave my destiny. Let the statement Ichabod give way. Go ahead and pray. Please, Koinonia, pray. Where is that grace that was once upon me that I never had to beg for jobs? Let it return, oh God. Restore, 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 redeem, deliver, deliver by the Spirit. The Lord will rescue us from every evil attack, the Bible says, and to bring us safely to his heavenly kingdom. Prodigal son, your father is still alive. There is still hope for the signet ring to return to your hands. Someone pray! You can pray for your loved ones. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the deepest praise to the King. Muri maka sujara, Muri maka elkaka. Disappointment, you've taken away my tears, you have made them yours.
By the arm of flesh, I cannot prevail. One more minute. You are pouring your heart before Jesus, the deliverer, the helper, the restorer, the redeemer. His arms are not too short that he cannot save. His ears are not too dull that he cannot hear. Your iniquity has brought a separation between you and him. Pray the prayer of the prodigal son. For someone you need to pray the prayer of Jonah. For someone you need to pray the prayer of Hezekiah. The prayer of Hezekiah. Only the living can praise you. The dead cannot praise you. The weak cannot praise you. The defeated cannot praise you. Arise for your name's sake in my life. Hallelujah. 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 Every once and again in scripture, you will read a very comforting rendition after tragedies and the Lord remembered and the Lord remembered Sarah and the Lord remembered Hannah and the Lord remembered Rachel and the Lord remembered Leah and the Lord remembered Joshua Selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia I, 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 I. In one minute before I speak over your life, I want you to mention the areas where deliverance must come for you now. Please mention it before God. Some of you, you have lost your honor. You have lost your reputation. You have lost your integrity. Cry restore. Some of you, you have lost the capacity, that grace for wealth. Some of you, you have lost certain dimensions of the operations of the spirit. Some of you, you have lost the gift of men. Go ahead and pray. Manasana paraka sevele sali kahasiata barantusye. Shakra gavada kata balakata praska baraka tushka pre. Skade manashalanda skavreska bara supresh. Ekriata kata praska balakata. Oh, restore, 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 restore. What's that our song on restoration? Take it high for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Restore everything that was lost. 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 Restore everything that was lost.
Hallelujah. I want you to receive the prophetic word now. When God sends us, we come in the name of the Lord. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore the honor that was lost. Restore you will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore my God. Everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore you will restore. Come. Play the saxophone for me. Go ahead. I want to prophesy. Can you come forward? Is it possible? Come. You're going to play the song Breathe once or twice. Huh? Go ahead and play once. I'm just walking by the Spirit. And when that happens, I'm going to begin to speak. Go ahead. Jesus Christ let me start with those who have lost things you have lost things in the name that is above all names I'm praying now here at Koinonia by the power that raised Christ from the dead from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada across Africa Koinonia global and indeed the body of Christ I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I decree and declare let there be a restoration now 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 tragic events that don't have an explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships closed doors in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare that spirit gives way now 
that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now every mark upon your head you may not see it but it keeps calling tragedies to your life in the name of jesus christ by the blood of the eternal covenant i wipe that mark from your face now i wipe that mark from your destiny now Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, in this place tonight, by the mercy of God, I command restoration. I command reconnection. I command restoration. I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. I've owed people before. I know what it means. The, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable i pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised christ from the dead before the end of 2023 come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of jesus christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraint were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up i pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when god wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow i pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says god would deliver us from anyone who is a victim of that i pray for you here at koinonia in the name of jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of god and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help i stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of god you ignored maybe somebody that you caused pain in their life in their family i call upon the god of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life. 
Where they said you will die, I prophesy leave. Where they said you will fail, I prophesy go and excel. Where they said your children would do the same negative thing, I midwife by prophecy. May your children be Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ out of their pain they said it will never be well with you i call upon the god of mercy because today you are the righteous i say to you it shall be well hezekiah where isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death i stand in the name of jesus christ as an able minister of the new testament and i pray for you live long and fulfill your days Live long and fulfill your days. Let me prophesy to Ruth. You've lost your husband, lost your children. And you have said, do not call me all that name. Call me Mara. It is bitter. Call me all of that. And Naomi has tried to comfort you. Oh Ruth, hear the word of the Lord. There is still the second phase of your life. You are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, he would, have, he would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, even now, November, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. The final prophetic declaration please hear me every grace that god has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life i release my faith one more time in the name of jesus perhaps through dishonor perhaps through carelessness lack of discernment all of these things that i mentioned you are not having it work in your life i agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith i declare may this grace rest on your life May this grace rest on your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him Laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for the night, but it says joy comes with the morning. And the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night. That means when light comes, it is your day. Now that light has come, I command the night to cease. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Please give Jesus a big hand clap. Celebrate your victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first prayer we are going to pray is a genuine prayer of repentance. Lord, every pride, every flesh, everything hidden within my heart, I bring it to the throne and I cry that you show me mercy. Purify my heart. Purify my motive. Purify my desires. Please open your mouth and pray. Purify my heart. I have found David. God has found you. But he's looking for his servant. God has found a musician. But he's looking for a worshiper. God has found a preacher. But he's looking for a vessel. God has found a businessman. But he's looking for a financial apostle. Make sure you are praying. Don't be distracted.
no weapon formed against you will prosper you just focus on this prayer the miraculous becomes easy when your heart is true and sincere Exalted I above the worship of the people who love the earth. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. For my eyes have seen the King. You're the Lamb upon the throne who reigns forevermore. Go ahead and pray. Porch my heart. Porch my heart. The Bible says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. It says, but in a great house, there are all kinds of vessels, some unto honor, some unto dishonor. It says, if a man will porch himself, if a man will purge himself, Jacob, you can become Israel. If you purge yourself, that man becomes a vessel of honor, meet for the master's use. If someone pray, take everything. I surrender all to you Everything I give to you I'm withholding nothing Withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing Withholding nothing I surrender to you everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Will you give yourself away? That's what His Majesty is asking you now. Will you give yourself away so you can use me? Give yourself away. Will you give yourself away so you can use me? Now hear me. Condition number two to be called the servant of God number one is your heart the state of brokenness the second is your desire to live your life to serve his purposes eternally I simply call it Jesus revealed Jesus glorified that that becomes the theme of your life whether in business whether in ministry whether in family that your entire life revolves around this theme to see Jesus revealed and to see Jesus glorified when these conditions are met you have become the servant of God I have found David but I found him with all kinds of lusts and flesh and, and disorganization just wanting to use the anointing to promote an ambition. It doesn't come that way. David, become my servant. By submitting to the governing authority of Jesus and then having a new creed and a new theme that governs your life that my entire life revolves around the revelation and the exaltation of the Christ it doesn't matter whether it is in ministry it doesn't matter whether it's in politics that I'm here to promote the interest of heaven 
listen to me ladies and gentlemen when you assume that posture in the spirit you have become his servant you are ready to become like a trophy that he will display to the nations and show men the excellency of what it means to carry genuine power can i tell you when you study your bible and when you study modern history history is full of men and women who though ordinary they became servants of god indeed and certain mantles and graces came upon their lives you study men like catering and women like catering cool man you talk about it right here in your soil great men and women and today in our world men like fathers fathers of faith like our very father baba deboe and our mother they speak may you be blessed and you see doors open it is not just in the words there is a covenant there is blood that is dripping on that altar a testament of death a testament of sacrifice now the nations are waiting for the revelation of god that will come through your life you are here gathered hear me the holy spirit is speaking to you do not allow destinies go down because of carelessness. Do not allow destinies connected to you to go down. Hear me? Imagine if there were never a Billy Graham. Imagine if there were never a Baba Deboe. Imagine if there were never a Reinhard Bonke. Do you know how many people would have gone to hell? Now it is your turn. Are you going to allow flesh? Are you going to allow flesh to lead you down while destinies are destroyed? Or will you rise up? Will you rise up and say, Lord, as far as I'm concerned, count on me. You can count on me with the destiny of nations. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray. Something is about to fall in this place. Mm. Man of God, pray. Preachers, pray. It's time to carry genuine power. The earnest expectation creation awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. It's time for every altar and every pulpit to carry genuine fire, genuine fire. America, hear me. God wants to restore fire, authentic fire, fire that leads to soul saved, fire that leads to life transformed. Someone is praying. Forget about who is at your left and right. Focus on Jesus and cry from the depth of your spirit. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. One minute. Take everything. Lord, I desire to be your servant in business, a witness, an ambassador in politics, in education, in family. Someone pray. Someone pray. For some of you, your family members are depending on your transformation and your empowerment. Healing and grace that our 
hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. Now listen, everyone. Listen to me. Please lend me your attention. Lend me your attention. I shared yesterday that there are two ways to receive the power of God. Number one is directly from God through encounters. Help a lady who begins to run now and shout under the anointing. Please make sure that they don't injure themselves whether you are an usher or not. Hallelujah. Watch this. Number two, the second way to receive is through impartation. And I told you this morning that impartation is a transference of possibilities. That when God anoints a man, he intends for that anointing to reach everyone who is hungry and ready to receive. Not just for one person to hold it and merchandise it unfortunately are we together now hear me we're going to get straight into the miracle service that is already on there are three things that will happen here as my assignment this morning number one is an impartation that is already ongoing number two I'm going to be praying for the sick and that includes every oppression whatever it is you can stand in for yourself and stand in for your loved ones. Believe me when I tell you by God and upon the grace that is on our Father, there is no devil against your destiny that will remain after this encounter. You will marvel and wonder at the power of God. And then number three, prophetically, we are going to pray over our families and all the issues of concern and lift up a cry to heaven when we are done. And ask the Lord to visit us hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now listen I want to pray I ask the people to come out not just for a show there is a reason why I ask now I'm going to make three requests number one whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you as much as you are receiving for yourself please do well to manage them so they don't injure themselves are we together and then eventually so that we do not have this place becoming so chaotic we may need to ask one or two of you to please volunteer and help when the time is needed so please do avail yourself if there's need to manage people this is not just some misbehavior of people there are many things happening to those you see under the anointing there are deliverances there are healings there are breakthroughs and there are impartations now i want to pray for you Many years ago, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me. And when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, many of you may have heard it in my encounters. He stretched his hand towards me. And when he stretched his hand towards me, light at his brilliance left his majesty, Jesus, and entered into me. Listen, how I survived is something that is mysterious you cannot receive that kind of life now unfortunately and i say this respectfully today many claim to have seen jesus many claim to even spend all the time with him but we cannot see that evidence of a genuine encounter go and read your bible it took me more than one year to recover from that encounter i was not myself again the world became like a foreign place but in another encounter the Lord spoke to me please listen he said to every city and to every nation and every region I will send you to in every meeting there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you that that light must rest upon the person 
that is why you see all of these manifestations it doesn't necessarily make us anything it is not some celebrity man of god this is not what we are here to do we are here to reveal jesus but i'm telling you that you are immersed in a cloud of glory right now and as i begin to pray for you i'm going to be releasing grace from heaven to rest upon you thank you jesus in the name of jesus everyone here who has the call of god upon his life that god has called you to serve in the ministry i release grace upon you now take that fire 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 america i bring you the fire of revival authentic apostolic revival take that fire take that fire take that fire let it burn in your spirit let it burn in the churches let it burn in your homes let it burn in the hospital let it burn in the school take that fire in the name of jesus christ the call of God upon your life it's time for that evangelistic call to find expression it's time for that pastoral call there are some of you who are called to be intercessors there are many women here like Anna the prophetess may that grace come upon you intercessors intercessors men of fire women of fire 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 right now I believe that there are people here who will become end time financial apostles men who will be trusted with the wealth of nations I don't know where you are but I stretch my hands may that mantle of a kingdom financier let it come upon you men who will sponsor the gospel men who will sponsor the gospel empowered by grace empowered by God hallelujah now hear me very quickly if you are in this place and you are trusting God for a healing any part of your body or you are trusting God for a loved one now is the time to be healed I want you to place your hand right at the point you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest standing for your loved ones standing for yourself don't doubt don't doubt believe i want to pray holy 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 are you lord holy 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 are you lord The saints and the angels bow The redeemed worship you now Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord For you are glorious And worthy to be praised You are the Lamb upon the throne and unto you we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb of God. Lay your hands, I want to pray for you now. Jesus, something special 
supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I mention. Hear me. I'm about to pray for you now. And here's what I'm going to ask you to do. As soon as I pray, healings are already taking place. I'm going to ask a few of you who have received a miracle. Let's have maybe one of the pastors, maybe Pastor Emmanuel or so. Let's have one or two of the pastors so that as soon as you receive a miracle, they will just direct you. We'll have one or two testimonies. Let's shame the devil here at this campground and let the devil know that the RCCG youths and the church even of young people and believers in America is still strong and alive and that Jesus will forever be glorified now lay your hands as I pray shout a loud amen as I pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every devil of infirmity I stand upon the grace of our father and the grace of Jesus Christ and I declare every spirit that is behind every infirmity in the name of Jesus be gone now be gone now be gone now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed at Shabakato Sekita be healed in Jesus name there's someone God is healing your arm your right arm severe pains the power of God is touching you now right now right now in the name of Jesus right now the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pains around your neck area you can't even sleep on one side because of the pain right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you the power of God is touching you every growth in your body I command it to disappear now in the name of Jesus Christ I just saw like a sword of fire and the Lord is saying He's delivering two people from depression. This is an acute state of depression. I command that spirit of depression. Leave them now. Leave them now. Leave them now. Out of their destinies in the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare every blood condition be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. Migraine headaches be healed now. Every bone condition, pains around your joints be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone having severe back pain. In fact, you can't bend very properly. It's, it's excruciating. Right now, I decree and declare the power of God is touching you right where you are. Touching you right where you are. I'm seeing someone, your molars, there's, there's severe pain around your molars. The Lord is healing you right now. The Lord is healing you right now. Eye conditions, be healed now. Ear conditions, be healed now. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone I think it's like your elder sister is suffering from cancer they diagnose her of cancer in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead no matter what stage we reverse it now cancer be healed I hope you know that you are standing in for your loved ones there are various stations there are hospitals who are praying in the name of Jesus there's someone who has excruciating chest pain. It looks like ulcer. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you now. Touching you now. Inability to sleep. 
inability to sleep you lie down on the bed but you are not able to sleep max one hour and that's it in the name of jesus i release you from that oppression now hear me anyone here called barren unable to be with child or for your loved ones who are connected in the name of jesus christ by reason of this miracle service according to the time of life by this time next year they return with their children by by this time next year they return with their children by this time next year they return with their children hallelujah the lord is showing me someone you have severe pain around this is my right eye severe pain you can see but it comes with severe pain the power of god is touching you right now wherever you are the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ a lady you are having like a lump around the left area of your breast in the name of jesus i'm praying for you we cast that devil from your body we cast that devil from your body the lord is healing two ladies i'm seeing from severe bleeding this is what i'm seeing severe bleeding the power of god is going to come upon one of you and i declare that that satanic oppression i don't care how long it has been severe bleeding i'm seeing the lord bring it to an end right now shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ the lord is asking me to minister to someone that every time you go to bed you keep seeing dead people people who are long gone you keep seeing dead people the bible says what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness what communion has darkness has to do with light in the name of jesus i severe that connection everything that connects you to the dead i declare in the name of jesus you are delivered now 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 in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the mighty and matchless name of jesus be healed now there's someone you have diabetes sugar diabetes the power of god is touching you now i'm seeing healing for diabetes in the name of jesus i cause every devil my god i just had the sound of chains chains I want to pray every chain holding anyone down i declare at the count of three shout jesus one two three be released now be released now every chain holding your destiny be released here at this convention i release you now i release you now he said let my people go that they may go and serve me of chain chains of addiction chains of of demonic oppression be free from it now every kind of addiction we break that chain now we break that chain now hallelujah now hear me I want you to begin to check yourself for those under the anointing and for those who are standing the moment you find out there are so many miracles happening here the moment you find there's a miracle i like you to boldly leave your seat just come to pastor emmanuel they'll just have a word with you and then we'll allow you okay there are two pastors here there's another pastor people are coming out are you celebrating them look what jesus is doing check yourself you find there's a miracle make your way to the front very quickly every pain do what you couldn't do before come on america is this how you celebrate miracles blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord make your way out come for someone here the same way you saw the power of god move today may that be what follows your ministry may that be what follows your ministry in the name of jesus christ 
Now, while they are coming out, I'd like us to pray one prayer point. Are you tired? Can we pray? Are you determined that your destiny opens up? Say after me, Father. One more time. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that from today, I go forward. Prophesy. Go ahead and pray. I go forward. Forward in life. Someone is praying. I go forward in destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. I go forward. He told Moses, tell the people that they go forward. Is someone going forward? Pray. Is someone going forward? The path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day the Bible declares. One more prayer point. Say Father. One more time. Father. In the name of Jesus. I declare a restoration of everything I have lost. Finances. Relationships. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Command a restoration. And I will restore unto you the years. Is someone praying? I will restore. I will restore. Are you declaring restoration? And I will restore the years. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now, uh, before you sit down, the Lord is showing me somebody, um, not to get you emotional, but it's like I'm seeing someone and then I'm not seeing the person again. Is it a baby that died or something? It's like there was a loss. Um, whether you lost a bit. Who is that person? Come. Your baby, your mother. You lost your mother. When? Yesterday. It's 13 years today. Oh, okay, okay, I see. The person I'm talking about, you lost your child. You, I did. I was pregnant like from last year. I lost the baby in February. Oh, you lost the baby. Listen, I'm not calling you to embarrass you. Eh? This is this is so that because you are going to receive double. I'm calling you up. Do you believe in the power of God? Don't cry, madam. This woman lost her child. Oh my God. Don't cry. You see, look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you may never understand the pain of losing a child, losing a loved one. Sir, don't cry. My dear sister, don't cry. You see, if this is the reason why God allowed for this meeting, it was worth it. To be able to speak first the message of love, even before power. The Bible says to comfort those who mourn in Zion. So even in Zion, there can be people who mourn. Some of you are crying right now, but I want to pray for you. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh. Now let me pray for you. Listen, for those of you who lost your children, I want to pray for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, every couple here that has lost a baby or has lost, you know, in pregnancy or whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, first may the Lord comfort you. And every spirit of untimely death as I'm praying for them I'm praying for someone here every spirit of untimely death 
hear the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus release God's people now release God's people now no one under the sound of my voice will die before your time and as I pray for you I pray for your children as I pray for you I pray for your family members where is that believer shout a loud amen now in the name of Jesus for those who, has, who have lost loved ones may my God comfort you the Holy Spirit is called a comforter may you be deeply comforted in the name of Jesus and for those who are trusting God by the way how many of you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb don't come just lift your hands my God will surprise you because I, I, I sense that anointing as I was praying and I want to release that grace now you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb you don't have to come out I will pray for you aside those who are here already just place your hand on your stomach as a sign of sir you and your wife I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I pray for everyone here trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus the son of the living God as Eli prophesied to Hannah as Elisha prophesied to the woman in Shunem I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead no matter how long you have been without a child by this time next year return with your miracle by this return with your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ no matter what the medical condition is in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead we bring you life we bring you healing in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ this man help that woman the power of God is resting on her I'm seeing something move from her stomach is over right now name of Jesus Christ all forever may the Lord bless you please return to your seats rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ cities are destroyed or will you rise up will you rise up and say Lord as far as I'm concerned count on me you can count on me with the destiny of nations open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray something is about to fall in this place mm. man of God pray preachers pray it's time to carry genuine power the earnest expectation creation awaited the manifestation of the sons of God it's time for every altar and every pulpit to carry genuine fire genuine fire america hear me god wants to restore fire authentic fire fire that leads to soul save fire that leads to life transform someone is praying forget about who is at your left and right focus on Jesus and cry from the depth of your spirit always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger for pray one minute take everything Lord I desire to be your servant in business a witness 
an ambassador in politics in education in family someone pray someone pray for some of you your family members are depending on your transformation and your empowerment and grace that our hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger for now listen everyone listen to me please lend me your attention let me your attention i shared yesterday that there are two ways to receive the power of god number one is directly from God through encounters help a lady who begins to run now and shout under the anointing please make sure that they don't injure themselves whether you are an usher or not hallelujah watch this number two the second way to receive is through impartation and I told you this morning that impartation is a transference of possibilities that when God anoints a man he intends for that anointing to reach everyone who is hungry and ready to receive not just for one person to hold it and merchandise it unfortunately are we together now hear me we're going to get straight into the miracle service that is already on there are three things that will happen here as my assignment this morning number one is an impartation that is already ongoing number two I'm going to be praying for the sick and that includes every oppression whatever it is you can stand in for yourself and stand in for your loved ones. Believe me when I tell you by God and upon the grace that is on our Father, there is no devil against your destiny that will remain after this encounter. You will marvel and wonder at the power of God. And then number three, prophetically, we are going to pray over our families and all the issues of concern and lift up a cry to heaven when we're done and ask the Lord to visit us hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now listen I want to pray I ask the people to come out not just for a show there is a reason why I ask now I'm going to make three requests number one whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you as much as you are receiving for yourself please do well to manage them so they don't injure themselves are we together and then eventually so that we do not have this place becoming so chaotic we may need to ask one or two of you to please volunteer and help when the time is needed so please do avail yourself if there's need to manage people this is not just some misbehavior of people there are many things happening to those you see under the anointing there are deliverances there are healings there are breakthroughs and there are impartations now i want to pray for you Many years ago, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me. And when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, many of you may have heard it in my encounters. He stretched his hand towards me. And when he stretched his hand towards me, light at his brilliance left his majesty, Jesus, and entered into me. Listen, how I survived is something that is mysterious you cannot receive that kind of life now unfortunately and i say this respectfully today many claim to have seen jesus many claim to even spend all the time with him but we cannot see that evidence of a genuine encounter go and read your bible it took me more than one year 
to recover from that encounter i was not myself again the world became like a foreign place but in another encounter the lord spoke to me please listen he said to every city and to every nation and every region i will send you to in every meeting there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you that that light must rest upon the person that is why you see all of these manifestations it doesn't necessarily make us anything it is not some celebrity man of god this is not what we are here to do we are here to reveal jesus but i'm telling you that you are immersed in a cloud of glory right now and as i begin to pray for you i'm going to be releasing grace from heaven to rest upon you thank you jesus in the name of jesus everyone here who has the call of god upon his life that god has called you to serve in the ministry i release grace upon you now take that fire 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 america i bring you the fire of revival authentic apostolic revival take that fire take that fire take that fire let it burn in your spirit let it burn in the churches let it burn in your homes let it burn in the hospital let it burn in the school take that fire in the name of jesus christ the call of god upon your life it's time for that evangelistic call to find expression it's time for that pastoral call there are some of you who are called to be intercessors there are many women here like anna the prophetess may that grace come upon you intercessors intercessors men of fire women of fire 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 right now i believe that there are people here who will become end time financial apostles men who will be trusted with the wealth of nations i don't know where you are but i stretch my hands may that mantle of a kingdom financier let it come upon you men who will sponsor the gospel men who will sponsor the gospel empowered by grace empowered by god hallelujah now hear me very quickly if you are in this place and you are trusting god for a healing any part of your body or you are trusting god for a loved one now is the time to be healed i want you to place your hand right at the point you are trusting god for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest standing for your loved ones standing for yourself don't doubt don't doubt believe i want to pray holy 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 are you lord holy 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 are you lord The saints and the angels bow The redeemed worship you now Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord For you are glorious And worthy to be praised You are the Lamb upon the throne 
for you now and here's what I'm going to ask you to do as soon as I pray healings are already taking place I'm going to ask a few of you who have received a miracle let's have maybe one of the pastors maybe Pastor Emmanuel or so let's have one or two of the pastors so that as soon as you receive a miracle they will just direct you we'll have one or two testimonies let's shame the devil here at this campground and let the devil know that the RCCG youths and the church even of young people and believers in America is still strong and alive and that Jesus will forever be glorified now lay your hands as I pray shout a loud amen as I pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every devil of infirmity I stand upon the grace of our father and the grace of Jesus Christ and I declare every spirit that is behind every infirmity in the name of Jesus be gone now be gone now be gone now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed at Shabakato Sekita be healed in Jesus name there's someone God is healing your arm your right arm severe pains the power of God is touching you now right now right now in the name of Jesus right now the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pains around your neck area you can't even sleep on one side because of the pain right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you the power of God is touching you every growth in your body I command it to disappear now in the name of Jesus Christ I just saw like a sword of fire and the Lord is saying he's delivering two people from depression this is an acute state of depression I command that spirit of depression leave them now leave them now leave them now out of their destinies in the name of Jesus now I decree and declare every blood condition be healed now blood conditions be healed now migraine headaches be healed now every bone condition pains around your joints be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone having severe back pain in fact you can't bend very properly it's, it's excruciating right now I decree and declare the power of God is touching you right where you are touching you right where you are I'm seeing someone your molars there's the severe pain around your molars the Lord is healing you right now the Lord is healing you right now eye conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed now the Lord is asking me to pray for someone I think it's like your elder sister is suffering from cancer they diagnose her of cancer in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead no matter what stage we reverse it now cancer be healed 
I hope you know that you are standing in for your loved ones. There are various stations, there are hospitals who are praying in the name of Jesus. There's someone who has excruciating chest pain. It looks like ulcer. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you now. Touching you now. Inability to sleep. Inability to sleep. You lie down on the bed, but you are not able to sleep. Max one hour and that's it. In the name of Jesus, I release you from that oppression. Now hear me. Anyone here called barren? Unable to be with child? Or for your loved ones who are connected? In the name of Jesus Christ. By reason of this miracle service. According to the time of life. By this time next year. They return with their children. By, by this time next year. They return with their children. By this time next year. They return with their children. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You have severe pain around this is my right eye severe pain you can see but it comes with severe pain the power of god is touching you right now wherever you are the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ a lady you're having like a lump around the left area of your breast in the name of jesus i'm praying for you we cause that devil from your body we cast that devil from your body. The Lord is healing two ladies I'm seeing from severe bleeding. This is what I'm seeing. Severe bleeding. The power of God is going to come upon one of you. And I declare that that satanic oppression, I don't care how long it has been. Severe bleeding. I'm seeing the Lord bring it to an end right now. Shout a loud amen. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is asking me to minister to someone that every time you go to bed you keep seeing dead people people who are long gone you keep seeing dead people the Bible says what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness what communion has darkness has to do with light in the name of Jesus I severe that connection everything that connects you to the dead I declare in the name of Jesus you are delivered now 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 in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus be healed now there's someone you have diabetes sugar diabetes the power of God is touching you now I'm seeing healing for diabetes in the name of Jesus I cause every devil my God I just had the sound of chains chains I want to pray every chain holding anyone down I declare at the count of three shout Jesus one two three be released now be released now every chain holding your destiny be released here at this convention I release you now I release you now he said let my people go that they may go and serve me every kind of chain chains of addiction chains of, of demonic oppression be free from it now every kind of addiction we break that chain now we break that chain now hallelujah now hear me I want you to begin to check yourself for those under the anointing and for those who are standing the moment you find out there are so many miracles happening here the moment you find there's a miracle I like you to boldly leave your seat just come to pastor Emmanuel they'll just have a word with you and then we'll allow you okay there are two pastors here there's another pastor people are coming out are you celebrating them look what Jesus is doing check yourself you find there's a miracle make your way to the front very quickly every pain do what you couldn't do before
come on America is this how you celebrate miracles blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord make your way out come for someone here the same way you saw the power of God move today may that be what follows your ministry may that be what follows your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ now while they are coming out I like us to pray one prayer point are you tired can we pray are you determined that your destiny opens up say after me father one more time say father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that from today I go forward prophesy go ahead and pray I go forward forward in life someone is praying I go forward in destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost I go forward he told Moses tell the people that they go forward is someone going forward pray is someone going forward the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day the Bible declares one more prayer point say father one more time father in the name of Jesus I declare a restoration of everything I have lost finances relationships open your mouth and begin to pray command the restoration and I will restore unto you the years is someone praying I will restore I will restore In the name of Jesus 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 now um, before you sit down the Lord is showing me somebody um, not to get you emotional but it's like I'm seeing someone and then I'm not seeing the person again is it a baby that died or something it's like there was a loss um whether you lost a who is that person come your baby your mother you lost your mother when yesterday it's 13 years today oh, okay okay i see The person I'm talking about, you lost your child. You, I did. I was pregnant like from last year. I lost the baby in February. Oh, you lost the baby. Listen, I'm not calling you to embarrass you. Eh? This is this is so that because you are going to receive double. I'm calling you up. Do you believe in the power of God? Don't cry, madam. This woman lost her child. Oh my God. Don't cry. You see, look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you may never understand the pain of losing a child, losing a loved one. Sir, don't cry. My dear sister, don't cry. You see, if this is the reason why God allowed for this meeting, it was worth it. To be able to speak first the message of love, even before power. The Bible says to comfort those who mourn in Zion. So even in Zion, there can be people who mourn. Some of you are crying right now, but I want to pray for you. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh. Now let me pray for you. Listen, for those of you who lost your children, I want to pray for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. 
for behold I do a new thing I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus every couple here that has lost a baby or has lost you know in pregnancy or whatever it is in the name of Jesus first may the Lord comfort you and every spirit of untimely death as I'm praying for them I'm praying for someone here every spirit of untimely death hear the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus release God's people now release God's people now no one under the sound of my voice will die before your time and as I pray for you I pray for your children as I pray for you I pray for your family members where is that believer shout a loud amen now in the name of Jesus for those who, has, who have lost loved ones may my God comfort you the Holy Spirit is called a comforter may you be deeply comforted in the name of Jesus and for those who are trusting God by the way how many of you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb don't come just lift your hands my God will surprise you because I, I, I sense that anointing as I was praying and I want to release that grace now you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb you don't have to come out I will pray for you aside those who are here already just place your hand on your stomach as a sign of sir you and your wife I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I pray for everyone here trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus the son of the living God as Eli prophesied to Hannah as Elisha prophesied to the woman in Shunem I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead no matter how long you have been without a child by this time next year return with your miracle by this return with your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ no matter what the medical condition is in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead we bring you life we bring you healing in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ this man help that woman the power of God is resting on her I'm seeing something move from her stomach is over right now name of Jesus Christ all forever may the Lord bless you please return to your seats rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you